Over the past decade, the American middle class has witnessed a significant decline. In the last 10 years alone, individuals with middle incomes have experienced a more substantial loss in purchasing power than they did between 1970 and 1990. This trend is primarily attributed to the escalating cost of living in the United States, which has propelled median home prices from $117,000 in the 70s to nearly $450,000 today. Buckle up, because what you're about to learn is a harsh reality check. In the next few minutes, we'll expose the ticking time bomb threatening the very foundation of the middle class. But before we go any further, stay ahead of the curve by subscribing to our channel with your notifications turned on and leave a like below this video. Various aspects of daily life, such as cars, healthcare, education, gas, utilities, and other consumables have seen a marked and exponential increase in prices. However, incomes have only seen a 66% rise over the last five decades. Inflation, further compounds the issue, eroding a larger portion of people's income each month. The traditional American dream of attaining financial security and building wealth through home equity is increasingly unattainable for a significant portion of the population, even those classified as middle class. The current labor market lacks an adequate number of middle-income jobs to sustain the contemporary middle class, leading many households to rely on multiple jobs to maintain their living standards. A substantial number of individuals may have already fallen out of the middle class without realizing it. The current job market is highly polarized, where individuals must either pursue an expensive college degree for top-tier positions or settle for lower-paying jobs. Having a degree does not guarantee a six-figure salary, given the prevalence of more available roles at the lower end of the job market. An August 2023 survey by American Compass revealed that a majority of American workers lack job security, with only 40% having secured jobs that pay at least $40,000 annually, inclusive of health insurance and paid time off, while also offering predictable earnings and a regular schedule. Despite the historical role of the middle class as an engine of economic growth in the U.S., it currently contributes a smaller share of income than it did from 1960 to 1980, according to Pew Research Center data. The middle class has contracted by 11% since the presidency of Richard Nixon in 2023, accounting for less than half of the country's population. There is a prevailing belief among economists that the official figures may underestimate the true size of the middle class due to ambiguity in its definition. The Department of Labor places the federal poverty level for a family of four at $30,000, while those earning between $30,000 and $43,372 are considered middle class. However, critics argue that categorizing a part-time bartender and a suburban power couple with significantly disparate incomes in the same bracket is peculiar. The Federal Reserve defines a middle income level as individuals falling within the middle 50% of all income, but concerns arise about how this average is calculated, considering extreme income disparities. A more accurate median income could be up to 10 times higher than the current figures suggest. In essence, the middle class is not precisely positioned in the middle today, and the current definition reflects more on demographics than actual purchasing power. While middle-class families may not be miserable, their financial security is not guaranteed, and the foundational support for this group appears to be deteriorating. A growing number of middle-class Americans are being excluded from home ownership, with approximately 11 million families that were once part of this income bracket no longer included since 2020. This situation has been exacerbated by inflation, reaching a peak of 9.1% in June. In 2022, Property values have experienced a substantial surge, leading to a boon in home equity for some. However, this has resulted in most young adults being entirely priced out of the housing market. With the highest mortgage rates in over two decades, middle-income households can now only afford homes that are worth half as much as they could just three years ago. Fannie Mae reports a significant decline in median purchasing power for families, plummeting to $189,900 compared to $356,550 when interest rates were near zero. While purchasing power has diminished, 
list prices have seen a sharp increase, with 45% of markets in 100 major U.S. cities, as tracked by Redfin economists, reporting list prices exceeding half a million dollars in 2023. Americans are borrowing substantially more money for homes, and interest rates are much higher than just a few years ago. Overall, the purchasing power of a middle-class home buyer has decreased by about half since the end of 2020. The average mortgage payment on a newly purchased home has surpassed $2,000 a month, compared to $1,100 three years ago. Lawrence Nunn, the chief economist for the National Association of Realtors, highlights that entering the market is especially challenging for those who don't earn six figures. This situation poses significant difficulties for young adults raised in middle-class households, hindering their ability to maintain previous living standards as they age due to the inability to invest in real estate. In addition to the challenges in the housing market, the costs of energy, fuel, and groceries have also risen considerably in recent years. This leaves most middle-income earners with minimal disposable income for activities like dining out, making significant purchases, or taking trips. As people spend less, economic activity slows down, creating a negative feedback loop that makes everyone more financially vulnerable. Saving every available penny at the end of the month is crucial, directing it toward emergency funds or retirement accounts, given the lack of a reliable financial cushion for many. The situation becomes even more complex for Generation Z, who have just entered the workforce. As historian and writer Addison Del Mastro elucidates, this generation not only faces challenges in affording a starter home, but is also confronted with the diminishing availability of starter cars. Smaller, more affordable models that were once suitable for young drivers are now scarce, compelling them to take out substantial loans for SUVs or electric cars. Even the educated ones, who seemingly did everything right, find themselves stuck in financial dependence unless they were born into wealth. This predicament extends to millennials, some of whom were fortunate enough to purchase a starter home and car before they became prohibitively expensive. In 2023, the prospects of achieving classic milestones of the American dream, such as upgrading to a bigger house and enjoying a comfortable retirement, appear increasingly unattainable for many. The current economic landscape poses formidable challenges, exemplified by the difficulty of upgrading a 13-year-old Honda Fit and moving into a larger, more permanent home, a feat accomplished by the previous generation at a similar age. The notion of retirement, once a fundamental aspect of the American dream, is now elusive for more than half of working Americans, according to a September Bankrate survey. The nation's retirement system is showing signs of unraveling, with middle-class individuals aged 55 to 64 having an average of $82,000 in their retirement accounts, falling short of the $53,000 national average. To maintain their living standards in retirement, these individuals would require 8 to 11 times more than the current average. Addressing retirement shortfalls may seem straightforward on paper, saving 5% of income from an early age, working steadily for four decades, avoiding financial setbacks, and starting early. However, the reality is much harsher. If individuals begin saving around age 40, they would need to contribute over 26% of their gross income annually until age 67 to achieve an 8% replacement rate in retirement. Starting fresh at age 50 would demand contributing half of their earnings for the remainder of their working years. The current retirement system renders saving nearly impossible for many, making the prospect of retiring with dignity increasingly distant. Moreover, 90% of individuals in the middle class report that their lives have become more expensive, with wages failing to keep pace. Even those in the upper middle class find themselves living paycheck to paycheck, and a significant percentage worry about losing access to loans. Financial struggles are evident in rising delinquency rates on credit cards, mortgages, and auto payments. Last month, 60-day car payment delinquencies for individuals earning between $55,000 and $99,000 hit an all-time record of 6.1%. These statistics underscore a grim reality. Middle-class Americans are facing financial hardships at an unprecedented level. Some argue that the American middle class is not merely shrinking, but undergoing a profound crisis, a slow and painful demise fueled by decades of failed policies that have made the cost of living unbearable for the average person. 
The consequences of this crisis are not only affecting individuals, but are contributing to a broader decline across the entire country. Thank you for watching.